So you started a YouTube channel where you search for Bigfoot and you already bought your camera that does 240p footage and was super shaky, no stave whatsoever. So when the key moment happens, you're prepared. You're gonna need an editing program for that. You may be used to DaVinci Resolve. It's like, yeah, okay, but I just got a Mac. They're so much better. I'm in the cult. Final Cut Pro, anyone? Think twice, my friend. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm somewhat known for complaining about things that aren't actual problems. It's always my fault, and I don't read manuals, and I just start doing things, and I say, this program can't even switch. You can't even split the clip in half in its final. And, like, it's an obvious fix. So there could be some user error ahead. But come on, give me a break. These things are not intuitive, and they're problems. We're on the Canon R5 II EF 24mm 1x4. So we're gonna compare DaVinci to Final Cut. I've used Final Cut a bit. There's a lot of potential. There's some things I prefer about it, but there's a couple just deal-breaking flaws, I think, unless you have a fix, but it appears that Apple hates you. And before we get to this awesome tutorial where I'll be flipping desktops and back and forth, Final Cut versus DaVinci, oh my God, the technology, I just, complained about Final Cut. When I play the videos in Final Cut, the fan starts ramping on, whereas in DaVinci, it was silent. I realized that the background rendering was on. And here's the problem with Apple. They default to the dumbest settings ever, and then you're left crying. And then so like there was a fix, and I think that's not gonna be a problem anymore. Cause I went, I looked at my hard drive and I was like, how do I have like less than a terabyte of space left? It's a two terabyte drive, everything's new. That video created like a 700 gigabyte file. I was like, oh my God, that stupid rendering. So that's probably why the fan kicked on. So I scratched that off the list. It was gonna be on here. So first thing you're gonna hate or love is that magnetic timeline. Just, God, why do you do this? So just, I want to line up the audio. You see the three claps here. There's three, there's three, okay. I'm just gonna move, okay, no, they're stuck together, are they? Because I just brought this one in. This was a separate thing. You can move this one, but this one, okay, I'm gonna, no, you can't. So like, you're all the way at the end. The only real way, I know this can be done automatically. It's not accurate, don't pretend just because you, oh, I render it automatically. It's off, it's always off. So, okay, you can do it. It's just weird. It's gonna feel weird for you. And when you do finally line it up, okay, now what? This audio, still there. Okay, I'll just replace it. This is what I do in DaVinci. Oh God, I just replaced the whole video. So what you can do is lower the volume of that one and then there's no way to link these that common sense, like you'd right click and you're like, okay, link, where is it? Where's link clips together? After searching the internet, people seem to just do new compound clip. And now you're one thing with the audio and you can actually just use that. Whereas in DaVinci, like it's just, it all operates like you would think. You're used to it, you line up your claps, good enough for now. You split that off, delete, come up here, replace that audio, link them together, and like now they're one clip and it just operates as it should. Now maybe there's a way to do that in Final Cut Pro and I just missed it, but like I'm, I searched first for the answers, couldn't find one. The second thing that will make you lose your mind, I can't for the life of me just scroll the timeline with my mouse wheel. I was looking this up and it appears you can't do it. There are some third party apps that might, but like I have no way of getting over it unless I drag this thing and it goes so fast that you can't keep up. You can't keep up with that. Like no matter what. Okay, that's pretty slow. Okay, I panicked on that one, but that's not how you would want to do this at all. Like, come on, don't worry about Rat Boy, he's fine. But in DaVinci, the mouse wheel scrolls along. If I hold option, it's zooming in and out. Like I'm very used to this being very easy to get along, get away. Everything operates as it should. Whereas in Final Cut, I can use my laptop 
just trackpad, but I don't want to have, that shouldn't even be open. I shouldn't have to touch that thing. And to zoom out, still haven't figured it out. I know you can zoom in. Okay, I can zoom in if I press Z and do this clunky shit where I'm clicking. And then how do I get out? You would think maybe right click, can't even get out. The next thing that will drive you crazy, as you're playing your file, it doesn't render the audio as it continues to go. Like where even is my playhead right now? Nobody knows. Command plus minus, they say. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, God. So say you're playing on your timeline and it should be following, but as you go, it just does not render your stuff. You gotta pause it, then it'll come back. And it's just, I find it annoying as hell that like you get past this certain point, you gotta keep up with your trackpad somehow. It just doesn't render in real time. You have no idea where you are. Whereas in DaVinci, when that gets over there, you watch it, it just skips over. Everything's rendered. And not that I would be that far behind. I'd be scrolling in real time because I have an actual mouse wheel that works. The funny thing is, it's not even any of the features of Final Cut that are like deal-breaking flaws to me. Like I can cut just like I would. It's just once I'm here, at the end of my cut, I just can't get over here. I like that I can set a bunch of audio effects, put it like compression on, all this stuff, and fix my audio and then save it as a preset. And then next time I put a video on, I just, I select my clip, paste the preset on, and then my audio is good to go. I would just have to worry about levels and that's about it. And same thing with color grades, like I could just put a bunch of things on here, get your LUTs going, and then like just save it. God, that looks great. I love that color wheels over here. Put that before the LUT, you're gonna be fine. You're grading. This is gonna look good, I promise. Oh, that looks great. It's not too saturated. This is the best. That looks the best. I love how this is not in view. Why would it be? Who needs that? No, oh, that's cool. So like, yeah, we're bringing those highlights back. We're up in the shadows. Sure, it's, it's not as good as Da Vinci, but say I liked this look and it is amazing. If I would just add a little bit of film grain on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. He's not sure what to say yet, but he's gonna start the video soon. So like you save that as a preset and it's similar to Da Vinci where I saved a bunch of presets. I have to have them as like adjustment layers for each of my cameras, although some of these I can delete now. Goodbye GFX, uh, goodbye G9. What, he sold it, what are you talking about? So like these, I prefer this because it's all visually represented there. So like if this was a Canon video, which it was, I would just copy that and just copy that over to your Canon file, good times. Looks like I already had done that and it still looks terrible, don't worry about that. So for the most part, everything I'm used to doing in DaVinci has an equivalent in Final Cut Pro, if not better. One awesome thing in Final Cut Pro, Control T, boom, I have a title. Very instant end. When I wanna move it around, notice how this box just comes up and I can grab it and then the snap to center line, like, do you have any idea how badly I wish Da Vinci could do that? Like when I have a title over here, the hell mares that begin. It's a whole, if I wanna grab this, I have to turn this box on. What the hell? God, that's a giant box. And like, it's always on this giant white bullshit. And so I don't want that, so I have to turn it off. And, so, and when I'm going in here, like there's no telling if you're ever in the center. Where am I? You'll never know. I swear I just clicked this and grabbed it. I'm allowed to do that. I was never able to do that before. It's still not snapping, although it feels like it's snapped. But where's my cute lines? How come it's snapping? Everything, why, do, why does everything I say just be wrong? Every single time I complain about something, I'm just like, you can't do this, you see this? Look, I'm, oh, you can do it. Every time. Another thing you'll likely hate about the Final Cut Pro audio transitions. God, like maybe you can set a preset to just press a number and do it. First, let me just show you in DaVinci, if I wanna blend these two, 
say you're zooming in, you just select that, I have a shortcut, and then it seamlessly blends it in. It just blends those two clips. Whereas in Final Cut, not only do I not have a quick button that I know right now, maybe it can be done. So you have to come down here, modify. God, I can't see it. My stupid full frame camera is too big and it's in the way. Create a crop. God, don't ask me that. You don't see it, first of all. I forget the, yeah, that thing, Alt S or something. Can I zoom in on this? No, not easily, but I remember how, I promise. What it does is not good. It like lowers one and raises another. Instead of in DaVinci, it blends it together. So like you just get this volume lowering effect and then a raising effect, and it doesn't sound good at all. Just these transitions. Sometimes I do a sentence and then <gasps> breathe in and Da Vinci, I smooth that into the next clip, but in Final Cut, it's just like, it's garbage down up. It's not smooth at all. I could be wrong, of course. It's a possibility. But honestly, for me, it's more to do with getting around my damn timeline, making it so hard. It just, it's impossible without these extra programs. And don't even get me started on trying to replace a clip over the... You have no idea, do you? So you're searching for kitten riding a turtle gifts, obviously, and you're saving it on over to a desktop near you. You save it, you're switching your desktop over, you got your kitten, you're back in Final Cut Pro. Okay, we're putting her on there. Okay, I noticed that my background is not great. I'm, my hands are peeking through here. I just wanna replace it. So I'm gonna do that. Where did it go? Why aren't you doing it? Just go down. You can't. In DaVinci? If I was to bring this kitten into DaVinci, you want to see it? You want to see this? Same problem, right? Just bring it down. You replace it. You're done. There's no replacing the clip. I was watching some asshole video and he was like, if you want to replace a clip, and he was up in here with the source clips doing all kinds of shit. And I was like, no, man, it's in my timeline. How do you bring it from the timeline down? You can't, you can't do it. You'll never get that kitten in your life at this stupid magnetic timeline. Goodbye, kitten, where is he? Is he at the end? How could I get there? How could I ever manage to get there? There he is. I want you to be replacing. And there's nothing, there's nothing. Replace the clip, align it, overwrite to storyline, let's see it. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that's a bitch. That's a bitch and a half. Oh God, why do I do this? I should be arrested. Did it work? Yeah, that worked. But what happened to the audio? That got weird. You saw it, it switched weird. I didn't like that. So basically there are no problems in Final Cut Pro. It's the best editor, it's free. You can download a third party app. It's called Command something. No, God, Reddit. I went to search, like, how do you zoom with the mouse wheel, Final Cut Pro, and there was like this guy asking, and the first thing is, thank you, oh, it's ridiculous, thanks for fixing it. What fixed it? There's nothing here. Where's the answer that fixed it, you asshole? Why are you thanking everyone? He's like, oh, it's ridiculous, huh? Oh, good thing that guy saved us. Where is it, though? Where is it, you assholes? God, I hate you. And this guy, he's like, oh, just do this. That didn't work. Not even an option. Oh, in command post. That's the thing. You have to download command post and then everyone loves this. Oh, it opens source. So maybe once you get that, you dive into it. Then you have your native Final Cut Pro. You still have worse color grading. I don't know, like, what's the point of it? If you already have DaVinci, why would you ever buy Final Cut? It's like similar price way less features on Final Cut, but simpler, but the magnetic timeline things, there's workarounds obviously, but like, just no, thank you. So we're sticking with DaVinci. I will be uninstalling Final Cut Pro and we're moving on. That's, that's a hit and a miss right there on going only Apple ecosystem. No, thank you. Even though the user error hurt us today pretty hard in my reputation, it's okay. And I'll live with that, we'll rebuild. It'll be fine. It won't be, but what do you think? Do you have any fixes for things I didn't fix myself today? I doubt it.
Thank you for the Bitcoin donations. I'll leave. Subscribe for my videos.